Hey guys, what is up? My name is Thomas Bark and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about why I think Trustpilot is 100% useless when it comes to the website's overall review system and just the VPN reviews themselves. You should not rely on Trustpilot for gauging what customers think of a VPN. And here's why. Hey guys, if you haven't checked out my website, I really encourage you to do so. It's vpntierlist.com. You can find all sorts of information, my tier list, important links, um, my favorite products, etc. Also guys, if you want to help support the channel and buy some of my merch, I think it looks really cool. I got tons of cool designs like this one and like some of these that have cool gradients of colored matrix inside privacy icons. Anyways guys, back to the video. Links down in the description down below. So guys, let's go ahead and talk about some of my reasons why I don't think Trustpilot is very useful for VPN reviews or perhaps any reviews on the website itself. I think my number one reason why I don't like looking at Trustpilot for accurate customer-based reviews of VPN services is that I think the entire site is actually built on fake reviews. Now let's take a look at NordVPN, and this is just one VPN out of many that has nearly a perfect score. If we look at all these VPNs on the website, pretty much every VPN in existence almost has a five out of five score. Look at CyberGhost, 10,000 reviews, trust score of 4.8. And CyberGhost, I would say, actually is one of the VPNs in the VPN community that actually isn't really that trusted and not liked too much. Not only that, but stuff like IP Vanish also has a nearly perfect score. ExpressVPN has a perfect score. According to this website, even Surfshark 4.3, 5,000 reviews, pretty much every single VPN is perfect. So what's even the point of having all these reviews anyways, if all the VPNs are just perfect? It doesn't really make sense for me. And if every VPN is perfect, it just goes to show you that there's no differentiation between the products or any kind of realism between the products. If you go on something like Yelp, which I think does a much better job with curating reviews and having honest kind of accurate scores of businesses, you'll go on your you know local Yelp and you'll see that a lot of businesses get four out of five stars and some businesses get like one or two. Imagine if you went on Yelp and every single business or restaurant you looked at had five out of five stars. It would pretty much make Yelp useless because you couldn't tell the good restaurants from the bad. I think this analogy directly applies to Trustpilot because with Trustpilot, pretty much every VPN and most of the services on here, at least related to a VPN, have five out of five stars. So it's completely useless for deciding which VPN to use. Another problem with the fake review system is that Trustpilot itself does have some kind of verification or way to kind of make sure VPNs are playing nice or the companies are playing nice on the website and not faking reviews and stuff like that. In fact, I even made a video about how NordVPN got caught making fake reviews for their platform. There was a warning on this page saying, warning, you know, this um, company right here is making fake reviews or something like that. We have now kind of placed it in kind of a purgatory kind of thing where no more fake reviews can be added. And the score dropped from 4.4 um, to around 200 reviews. So the website, the company at time had around 200 reviews and the overall score was like 2.5 and a really bad score and that was actually like the accurate score. However, give it a couple of years and Trustpilot eventually, I think it was actually like one year, Trustpilot eventually removed kind of this purgatory phase of NordVPN's Trustpilot page and that kind of restriction was lifted. And lo and behold, just one year later, pretty much the score went exactly back to where it was with so many reviews, a, nearly a perfect score, tons of reviews from people that only have one review, one review, one review, uh, one review, one review. Look at this review, quality review right here. Random ass name, best customer service ever. See, these aren't like what I would consider useful reviews. So the fact that Trustpilot lets these companies have these kind of reviews, I think makes the platform very useless. But when you look at something like NordVPN, it's so drastically, there's just, it's inflated by the amount of reviews. So if we take a look at NordVPN that has 4,166, an overall score of 4.4, we look at the excellent rating here. It has 71% of people thinking it's excellent. Where with VPN, 
we have 80% of people thinking it's excellent. It just, that doesn't really make sense. Inflation of scores increases the rating, which is pretty dumb, even though it has a lower excellence rating here. Anyways, but we could take a look like I was saying before, you know, there are fake reviews for positivity, inflating the score like with something like NordVPN or CyberGhost or any of the other VPNs on the website that have near perfect scores, thousands of reviews of people saying great service, great service, that's it. But we could look at something like this. So this person left a one star review. He has a Russian name, very legit. Um, two reviews and he wrote this uh, thing here and apparently this guy says the, the reply from Torgard is we will keep this simple your review is indeed completely fake you threaten this review screenshots available every time you sign up for an account to get your money back so it's not about the money it's the principle so apparently this guy likes Torgard so much that he doesn't want to pay for it and he just keeps threatening negative reviews to get his money back and trust pilot they think this is a legit review. They haven't removed this, but look at all these other ones. Fantastic customer service. Trustpilot will not only not remove positive reviews, they will not only, uh, they won't remove fake negative reviews either. So there's like no mediation here going on. The company probably just doesn't have enough people mediating that. I even emailed Trustpilot personally about some of my complaints with their website and they responded to me three months later. Can you fucking believe that? Three months? That's insane. They haven't responded to me yet at all either with my some of my complaints about the website and some of these VPNs that I think have fake reviews. So in summation, guys, I do not think that Trustpilot is a website you can rely on for the reasons I outlined before. Fake reviews don't get removed, either positive or negative, which means the whole system is massively inflated towards a positive spectrum. Most every single VPN, according to Trustpilot, is completely perfect, and some of the ones that are actually good do have fake negative reviews that Trustpilot isn't bothering to remove. Most of the website has massively inflated numbers as well, and Trustpilot also doesn't like have that good of a verification system for figuring out actual reviews are real and which are not, which pretty much makes the entire website worthless because pretty much every single product is apparently perfect, which is not the case, like I mentioned. Not only that, but Trustpilot itself can put a VPN or some kind of company that is getting fake reviews in a purgatory status, eliminating all the fake reviews, and then when that status is lifted, the VPN could buy tons of fake reviews again and get their score back to what it was, making the entire kind of system completely pointless. Overall, I do not think Trustpilot is very useful at all. According to my tier list, you can see a lot of variants in VPNs. There's tier one VPNs, tier two, tier three, and tier four. Imagine how useful my tier list would be if every single VPN was a tier one VPN. That would be fun to go through 60 tier one VPNs and find the one that works, wouldn't it? I don't think it would be. Anyways, guys, those are some of my thoughts and opinions on this website. If you like it, go ahead and use it. I'm not meaning to slander, defame, or talk you know, unseemly things to them. It's just my opinion on the website itself and from what I've observed. Anyways, guys, see you on the next video very soon.